other kingdoms, fungi, manure, and protists. Let's start with the fungi kingdom. They have two main characteristics that we need to learn. First of all, fungi are heterotroph. That means that fungi cannot produce their own food. They need other living things to eat. And number two, fungi cannot move. So, fungi have one characteristic in common with animals and one characteristic in common with plants. In the same way, they have one characteristic different from animals and one characteristic different from plants. Let's see. Fungi are different from plants because they cannot produce their own food. But fungi are similar to plants because they cannot move around from one place to the other. Because of that, fungi are different from animals because they cannot move from one place to another, but they are similar to animals because they need other animals, plants or their rests to eat. Because of that, fungi kingdom is a separate kingdom. It's different from plant kingdom and from the animal kingdom. Mushrooms and molds are two examples of fungi. Molds appear in bread, fruits and vegetables when they are going old. Fungi are decomposers. That means that they consume dead plants and animals and break them down into nutrients that they release into the soil. They are absolutely essential for our ecosystems. Very, very important. Let's do this experiment. Put some bread, fruits and vegetables inside a zip plastic bag with a paper plate. Let's see how long do molds take to appear. Don't forget to write the date of the day that you... Now we're going to talk about the bacteria kingdom. Bacteria are the simplest living things alive in the world. They are unicellular. They are so small that you can only see them with a microscope. They are tiny, but you can find them everywhere around us. They are in our bodies, in our skin, on the ground, in the air, in the water, everywhere. They even use bacteria to make yogurts and cheese. Not all bacteria are bad. Most of them are very useful and helpful for us. They can help us with the digestion process and decomposing plants and animals because most bacteria are decomposers too. Remember that decomposers are very important for our ecosystems and for life. But some bacteria are not good. Some bacteria are quite dangerous and they can cause diseases. They are called Pathogens, cholera, pneumonia and tuberculosis are caused by pathogens. But don't worry, white blood cells and antibiotic help us against pathogens. Okay, protists kingdom or kingdom of protista. This is quite a strange and difficult kingdom because they are basically all the organisms that cannot fit in the other groups. Living things that are not plants, animals, fungi or bacteria are protists. It's difficult to establish characteristics similar for protists because they are very different from each other. But some examples of protists are algae and amoebas. Algae might look like plants, 
but they are not considered plants because they don't have such things as roots, leaves or stem. But they do photosynthesis. <laughs>